welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Click the little bell so you'll be notified when I post. Um, but yeah, today we're doing a long awaited get ready with me because my sister and I were gonna get ready to go out to eat. And, well, she'll be here soon. And also, I thought I would finally test out. Jacqueline Neal Palette. I'm so excited. Let's take a look at these babies and cry some more. Like, can we just take a minute? Like, I haven't even touched them yet. I've been waiting to play around with them, and so I thought, you know what, we're gonna do it. So, we'll go ahead and jump on into the tutorial. These brows. And I use the Milani Natural Taupe. Little color eyebrow point and if I'm looking down it's because I got my mirror right here brush those suckers out and then just away we go and that'll do but these It'll look better once I have a whole face on. But I already moisturized it and all earlier today. So now these puppies are tamed. We're gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oops. This is in the shade Light Sand and I'm gonna use this to kinda like carve out my, like go under my brows and like as a eyesha eyeshadow base. What is this eyebrow doing? Work with me. There. There we go. Again, I'm going to go use my big, big AF mirror to get a better, get a closer look. All I'm going to do is a little dot there. And I legit hold my breath when I do that so I can't, so I don't mess up. Okay, and then I'm going to spread it with my finger first and then we'll go in with very damp and very large, enlarged beauty sponge. I could probably squeeze out more water, but... Oh, I did. Okay. We're going to go in with my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. Is, we're actually almost out. I'm almost out of this. But I'm gonna. This is like very thin, so it's ridiculous. Got a little bit of my cap. I'm gonna go with my Morphe E48. And we're gonna pick up as much as we can. And just use that to set our concealer so there's no creasing. Now. I'm going to pick up my Morphe M441 and we are going to first go in with this little guy right here. There we go. Oh my gosh, that applied so easily. It's so buildable. I'm just going for it. Yes, you guys. It is beautiful. So we're going with the same brush. Obviously the same palette. And we're going to go with the one right next to it. We're going to go with this little guy. If I find the card, I'll try to list all the colors I used down below. But same thing in the crease. But I will tell you, I do like her stuff. Although, yeah, this one, my E48, slightly wiggly. I'm gonna be gluing that one later. But that same thing happened with another one of the brushes. It was one of the big ones. I don't remember which one it was. 
but I ended up just having to glue, put, I ended up putting just like clear nail polish on there to kind of glue it back. Uh, music by the way, Spotify, Mumford and Sons Complete. Mm. I'll try to link that down below as well. But I don't think the eyeshadow palette is in stock anymore. I had to get it when it restocked. But what is my hair doing? I literally had an implant all day and I had to get it like wet with a hairbrush. M433. Just look right here. I clear, I've used them a lot. I have to clean them again. But now we're going to go into the, some darker shades. We're going to go on with this one right here. This one's just going to go like only in the crease. We're not going to go too high, so I'm going to be like in my mirror. So stinking textured, it's not even funny. We're gonna take my Morphe E22 and just quick blend them seamlessly together just a little bit. Next, we're gonna start darkening up the outer corner. And we're gonna go in with the Morphe E18. We're gonna go in with this one right here. Yeah, we're gonna use that one. So it's like on my floor, so I'm gonna kind of look down at it. All right, here we go. Jacqueline, if you're watching this, freaking love it. Oh my gosh, good job, girl. Go back in with the E28. E22, my baby. My B. E22, blend. And then, we're gonna do a little cut crease. Put some of my concealer right there. Let's get a little closer to you guys. Ugh. Hello. Yeah, you can see all these imperfections. You know, my little elf concealer brush. This little sucker. I'm gonna dip it into my concealer. And now. and do that make it kind of blend seamlessly use a tart flat head brush and we're gonna dip into I think we're gonna go with this little guy right in the middle so I got a pinky gold brush in it and then put her on Again, with the freaking color. Oh, I love it so much. Like, <gasps> wow. Okay, easy blend. Oh my. Seamless and 
Oh. You guys. I can't. I cannot wait till we're finished. Okay. Oh, foundation is my Too Faced Born This Way in porcelain. And then I'm just gonna do a little, little dabs here and there. And actually, alright, blend, dabbing with that same beauty sponge we used for my eyes. Go back in with that same tape, shape tape concealer. I'm just gonna and now let's go on back a little bit. All right, we're gonna blend it again. Same beauty sponge. Back into my whatever is left of it, anyways. Of my finishing powder. Back in with my now broken E48 brush. And we're gonna press it into my eyes. Press it on in. everywhere even press a little bit we are going to use my Morphe M403 I love this brush it's my favorite contouring bronzing brush all that jazz and we're going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil medium deep matte bronzer it smells like chocolate I love it. I love their like chocolate. I love it. Oh my gosh. Browns up those cheeks. A low slim cheek. Bring it down to that jawline. Yeah. A little bit. Get that forehead looking. Less like a ghost. We're gonna go in with this Lancome angle shadow brush to contour that that nose. Snatch it. Snatch that nose, y'all. Yeah. A little bit under that lip. Make a powder, mm. and then I'm going in with this Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I got it in set a while ago. I'm just gonna blend up any harsh lines. Going in with this bigger Lancome. Says number one. It's a fluffy brush. To smooth out this contour over here. Now, another shout out to my girl Jacqueline. We, I got this one the day it came out. We're gonna use the Becca, Jack, Becca and Jacqueline Hill Lush and Highlight Palette. Oh, it's blinding. And this baby right here, this is the best. This is Champagne Pop. Clearly, I've used it a lot. I've hit pan. I'm crying. And then we've got Prosecco Pop. Ooh. But we're for our blush. We're gonna use. We're gonna, think we're, we're gonna go with rose spritz. This little guy right here. We need some rose spritz on a Morphe M177 brush. And just. We're gonna go back in with my big fluffy brush. Blend this out. 
yeah, there we go. Focus. Focus. Now that we are all blended out, we save the highlight for last. We're going to finish off these eyes. Back into my bay, my new bay, my favorite. And we're gonna go, we're gonna start out with my Morphe E36, the little baby brush. And we're gonna go in with this little guy right here, this one. Go in with this Morphe M432 flat brush. It's a flat brush. And we're gonna go in with this one right here. I'm gonna get as close to that lash line as possible. quick blend it out make sure I get all this out with the M433 again and just soften it up you know now that that's done I'm going to grab my where is it ah, this little sucker <gasps> what my M my Morphe R31 the Morphe like full name is starting to like rub off <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold it in my lip. We're gonna use this one right there. I know this is the, one of these two are the highlighting or the highlighting colors, but I think we're gonna go with this one because we're pale. Focus on me. Really quick, you can see what's up here. Alright. We're done. I'll give my full review at the end. Oh, no, just kidding, we're not done with her yet because we need the blackest of blacks for this. No? I think this look does need a wing. By the way, the eyeliner I'm using is the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Ooh, I like it. I like the wing with this look. And now, going in back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, we're going to go with my e.l.f small angled brush, just a little angled brush. We're going to go into the very black eyeshadow color and we're just going to set the eyeliner. Forget, I forget where on this green earth that the good lord created that I saw it, but I've just set it ever since and it always looks, makes it look, look so like so so smooth I love it now we are done with the Jaclyn Hill palette and now we're gonna quick set my eyebrows with some elf so eyebrow eyelash duo clear gel mascara right now I'm using the eyelash side I'm just gonna come on through these come on come on through these bad boys put them in their place. I'm going with my favorite mascara. This is by Too Faced. It is called Better Than Sex Mascara in Black. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna coat these bad boys.
Alright, now that that's all done, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender really quick. So actually it's not brand and just kind of pat down everything. make sure there's no creasing. We'll highlight and then set. Going back into my Becca and Jaclyn Hill, we're going to use a Morphe R38 brush. This sucker is bomb. We're going in with Champagne Pop. And then what I do, because I'm extra, is I take my Morphe, or not Morphe, Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and spritz a little bit. I'm just gonna let it take flight. I'm going up, up, up. Then, here's what I do. Take my beauty sponge. Dab, 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 dab. Just kind of take a little bit off. Just a little bit. But too, not too much, because we still want it to be blinding. But, in, but enough to where it's like, kind of subtle yet blinding look, you know. Now we're going to take Champagne Pop with no spritz. Draw an exclamation point on that nose. And then do my Cupid's bow. Alright. And set our face. And now this trick that I'm going to do, I learned from Nikki Tutorials. She sprays it, and then she takes like a magazine or something. I'm using a, I got this as a freebie from Vitamin Shop. So yeah, we're gonna fan it till it's dry. And it just melts into your skin. It looks really good. There is that, and now for the lips. But we're gonna go with the Kylie lip kit. And this is the matte liquid lipstick in Dolce K. We're gonna use her liner, and then we're gonna go in with the lipstick. This lipstick will last you all through dinner. Like, Kylie, good job. Does that and now with the liquid. And there we have it. Get ready, all done. Now, the review. I'm sure y'all can already tell. Freaking loved it. I loved it with all my heart. If we were to ever restock again, I would say go for it. And then use her code Jack Attack, I think. But I used many anyways because it was the easiest one for me to remember. But yeah, it was. It is a little more expensive, but it's because there's 35 eyeshadows in it. But you guys, can we just like. Look at that. Everything transitioned so smoothly. Everything was just oh, amazing. And actually, now that we've dipped into this, I'm going to swatch these four right here. So we go on. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, these are going to look so good on. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go with the purple one first. Ooh. Ah! Sun. And now the darker blue. Oh baby. Probably could have more, but I'm cry I can cry. Oh, wow. Oh. 
Wow, you guys. Like, those are some freaking pigmented eyeshadows. I cannot wait to play. I love it. Jacqueline, you did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. I can't, I can't praise you enough. That was, this is bomb. So bomb. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. And I cannot wait to see what else you is in store for you in the future. And yeah, the get ready with me slash Morphe and Jacqueline Hill eyeshadow palette review. And yeah, I'm gonna go see where my sister's at, and then we're gonna go eat, and then we're gonna go work out, and then I have to take all this off. But I will see you guys in my next video. I am today is the 28th. I'm officially three weeks out from my show, so stay tuned for my updates. I'm gonna have a nice long vlog for you guys during the show weekend, the Friday and Saturday. It's gonna be great. I might have to do two parts depending on how much footage I can get. But I'm so excited and thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Please also follow my Twitter, my Instagram. I'll leave all that linked down below as well. And then if you want to see any more makeup tutorials, get ready with me, then just let me know and if you have any questions for anything just let me down just ask me down in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye